I married your mom. <laughs> you guy's gonna crap a brick. God. Oh my God. <laughs> it's a human being. Well, I'm afraid I am not a fan. David Dobrik. I'm having a bunch of different delivery people come to my house to deliver food. And I want to see their reaction when I put them in different kinds of situations. Oh, uh, David, I don't know. We're, we're in here, sir. We're in the kitchen. <laughs> what in the... That's a skunk. Okay, that's a funny idea. <laughs> delivery people coming to that. <laughs> A lot of chaos going on here right now. <laughs> Police car? What? There's so many moving parts. <laughs> That's crazy. Brilliant. This is clever stuff. I went so fast, I must have blinked, because why were the police there? There's a lot of stuff going on in there, and he's just trying to do his job and deliver some drinks. It's so, so crazy to think that you'll never have an ex-wife because no one will f marry you ever. <laughs> Is that his dad? Yeah, mother <laughs> Oh, no, uh, no language problems. Regret that, mother Hi, guys. I'm with Dumb and Dumber. I'm flying to Boston to propose to Jason's mom so I can become his stepdad. So I can become his stepdad. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> can't get a date? You can't find some girl to play around with? You gotta get some mom. From the moment I laid my eyes on you. I am life. so... <laughs> Charlotte Nash, will you marry me? Are you out of your mind? I want to be Jason's Jason stepdad. Oh, that would be hysterical. That's why I'm here. <laughs> Very clever. You can submit that for Funniest Home Video and get $100,000. And they're getting married? Power vested in me by the state of Nevada. Unbelievable. Take your hat off. Boy, I tell you, hope he gets lucky tonight. This is not happening. It's for funniest home videos, right? <laughs> that is hilarious. That's very funny. Very cute. I married your mom. You the guy's gonna crap a brick. You didn't. I proposed to her in Boston. <laughs> My son. But he's older than he is. It's funny. It's fast. It doesn't make any sense. But I guess, I guess people like it. It was funny, it was humorous, it was ingenious, but that can't be true. Some people that have become popular on YouTube and stuff, where you're just watching them do their daily stuff. This kid put in the work. It's almost like it's his own TV show. How do you feel about Kylie Jenner? <sighs> Pretty good. Who's your favorite out of the sisters? <sighs> Chloe. Chloe. Yeah. That sucks, dude. I think she is. Because Kylie's here and Chloe's not. <laughs> oh, sh**! <laughs> oh, that's her for real? Oh boy, he put him in the spot, didn't he? I was just about to say my, my, my favorite. <laughs> yeah, my favorite. Yeah, he changed it too. Are you a fan of the stuff she, she makes? Like makeup? Mm -hmm. Love. You should congratulate Kylie. Congratulations, no, Kylie. No, she's oh, right thank here. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love that kind of surprise. <laughs> oh, that looks like fun. I'd love to have that happen. Oh, I like Kylie. Yeah, it's like, like smiles, yeah. candy camera. It's the youngest billionaire. Yeah, billionaire. She's a billionaire? Right, first thing I do is ask for a picture. Yeah? Yeah. Ask her. Hi, right, Kylie, can I have a picture with you? <laughs> He's making them all very uncomfortable, isn't he? It's kind of mean. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> That's classic. Oh my God. <laughs> it's a human being. Well, I'm afraid I'm not a fan. I like people that stimulate my intellect. I like real emotions, people solving real problems. This is just uh, insipid. Remember Candid Camera? That's what it reminds me of, Can a, a, a new version of Candid Camera. Nothing ever changes, does it? We're breaking a world record. What we did in there, yeah. that was four liters. Hazardous. Is 208. <gasps> Wait, uh, oh my god. In three, two, one, go! Oh, oh my god. It's alive! What? What is that? That's brilliant. <laughs> to do it on that level. <laughs> They're a danger to life and limb. No, no, no. Wow, this no. bath bomb is so good. No. <laughs> Even he 
my favorite, yo! <laughs> I've been out on the streets for about three years now. Um, and oh. you watch the videos? Homeless guy? And you watch the videos? Absolutely, man. I'm actually listening so to So just somebody who went, went by? After talking to John, we found out he had been kicked out of foster care to live on the streets. Oh. He even recently had his car stolen. And then we heard something that oh. no one should ever hear. I've actually never had Chipotle. I just remember that. Oh. Never had so Chipotle? Day. Wow. First bite of a Chipotle burrito. Let it let it sink in a little bit. Delicious. It is? Cool. I just came from Subway. This is way better. <laughs> I don't think Subway wants to hear that. I actually told Chipotle about you, and they want to give you free burritos for a year. Wow, what a great thing to do. Oh, wow, cool. I like this kind of stuff. It's corny, but it's real. There's a lot of clothes here for you. You want us to help you with them and put them in your new car? Stop it. <laughs> wow. Please don't give us a girl. No. So they helped the guy out. That's good. I like that. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. Fantastic. Man, that makes you feel good, doesn't it? I love this. Thank you, Chipotle. <laughs> Is that for real? The goodness of people. There is good in this country. I got goosebumps. That was a beautiful emotional experience for me. And I feel so, I love this kid who did this. I hang out on YouTube all the time. So I would definitely put him on my little list of channels to watch and see what he's doing. And I have to do some research on him. Who is he? So do you have any idea who that guy in the video was? No, he's cute, but I have no idea. He looked familiar, like he was the son of somebody famous who I knew their face. So this is a very popular online creator. His name is David Dobrik. David Dobrik. Now that's not a name I'm even familiar with in America. Yeah. Is he a foreigner? Now that you mention it, the name sounds more familiar. David Dobrik's channel on YouTube has gained over 14 million subscribers. Do tell. With his videos receiving over 5 billion subs. Stop it. <laughs> I don't understand anything anymore. And I've never viewed it. Have I been living in a cave? Watching his videos, why do you think so many would want to watch his content? They hope they can get cars themselves. It's sort of like a fairy tale, because things like that don't really happen. I mean, people don't just, here, here's a car. Everyone wants to see how far he'll reach into his bag of tricks, what he'll come up with the next. They want to see a good time. They want to see a person surprised. It hits all the points in your brain and heart. You know, it really does. You can see the passion that he has for what he does. He's involved mentally and emotionally for for all of his work. Candid camera, that's from my youth. They used to have that where they'd surprise people and take pictures of them. It was more to make f f fun and demean them mostly. This guy, at first he did that, some of those, but then those ones at the end I liked. I think that he's come a long way and is maturing as an entertainer. A little more background on David's life. After high school and before his huge success online, David's parents gave him an ultimatum, either go to college or move out. And David chose to not go to college and instead move out to Los Angeles, where he reportedly struggled to even buy groceries when he first moved out here. What would have been your advice to David if he was your grandchild choosing between college or moving to LA? <laughs> yeah, what do you think? Stay in school, get that degree, and then branch out into the different areas of your interests. My first reaction, of course, is the grandfather's college. It's not so much that he didn't go to college, it's that he had to rely on himself. And there are kids that have fallen under that. If he chose to move out of his parents' house, he probably wanted to be away from the influence of his parents. He wanted to be able to do what he wanted to do creatively. Okay, fine, I think that's great. That's just as good as going to college and getting a diploma. I don't think college is the answer for everybody. Um, it, it, it certainly helps in some cases, but you know, this guy was really creative and he's got a good heart, he's got a great laugh, he's got a big old smile, uh, he wants to do something interesting, and he's successful at it. Parallels a little bit of my life. I was a guy just sitting around with imagination some ideas, however, I thought they were great ideas, and I'm going to California. And my folks, you know, same story. But son, you don't have any money, you don't know anybody out there, that's all right. And that's what happens. And that's the story I like to see. So we're curious to hear your thoughts. When watching these videos, do you think these videos are real or are they scripted? Uh, you mean, 
I don't think they're scripted. I think that whatever comes into his head, he does. I'm thinking he actually did the whole marriage thing with the guy's mom and all that. He actually went through with it. I think it's, it has some structure to it, but I don't think everyone uh, has lines to say. I think the situation was set up, but for the most part, I think it was unscripted. I think there are some that are controlled, maybe not necessarily scripted, but they're controlled to have a certain outcome. As you saw in the videos, David's friends are heavily involved within his content, and they are often referred to as the Vlog Squad. Some of the members of the Vlog Squad are his old childhood friends, while some he met during his early days of creating content online. Right. I'm in a situation exactly like that with Brandon Rogers. Uh, that he is kind of the guy who comes up with the general ideas, but he has a pool of performers that he works with. Over the course of entertainment that you've seen over time, how common is it for a group to find success together, even when there's one person at the center of attention? So well, that well, that's tough, because popularity and fame, uh, the equation is equals money. And usually they start making a name for themselves, so they want a little bit more. Frank Sinatra and the Rat Pack. Okay. Uh, uh, but that all came about, I think, uh, when they went to uh, Vegas. Frank Sinatra and uh, Sammy Davis Jr. and those guys. Yeah, that was kind of a phenomena. The Rat Pack, I think, you know, they were all good buddies with each other. They weren't reaching out buying cars for people, I mean, as an example. Adam Sandler, he gets his buddies. He takes care of his friends. And that's the feeling you get when you watch this guy, David. You want to be a part of the fun of their relationship together. So finally, after watching some of his videos today and learning more about David, if he, you know, wanted you to join his vlog squad and be part of his videos. Sign me up. Would you join his vlog? Yeah, absolutely. Sure, sounds looks like fun. I'd like to get a car. Yeah, I would join. I sit in the back seat. Ha, ha, ha. But I wouldn't want to be uh, so far in the back that you couldn't see me much. I want a little camera time, okay? Thanks for watching this episode of Elders React. And a shout out to Little Boy. Subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss an episode. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hi guys, JC here. Thanks for watching this episode of Elders React. Make sure to support David Dobrik by checking out his channel. It's going to be right over here. Check out more of his videos and subscribe. Bye guys.